Hello and welcome back to Labour Friends of the Forces, a way of keeping in touch with what's happening in Parliament on defence issues. Now I've just come from the House of Commons just a couple of minutes ago and I've come inside here to my office because you probably won't hear but above is a police helicopter peculiarly monitoring a police demonstration about government decisions um, to cut the number of uh, police officers on the beat in England and Wales so I've come inside but having just come from the Commons listen to the Secretary of State for Defence announcement on aircraft carriers it's an absolute shambles. They spent millions of pounds, perhaps as much as £250 million on changing Labour's carrier programme, changing which jets would go on um, the design of an aircraft carrier. They've sold the Harrier jump jets to America for a fraction of their value and we're going to have years without any airplanes on our aircraft carriers. The fact is that you don't have to be a military strategist and people who are involved in Labour Friends of the Forces will know that you don't have to be a military strategist to know what an aircraft carrier is meant to carry. The clue is in the name. And only the government don't seem to get that. Folk across the country are scratching their heads just about what the heck are the government up to when it comes to an aircraft carrier. The idea that an island nation isn't able to put a carrier to sea with aircraft on it, it's just eccentric, peculiar and wrong-headed. But finally the government have taken a sensible decision. Uh, they've taken the right decision only after having exhausted all po other possible options. They've gone back to Labour's old plan of the vertical takeoff and landing jets on the aircraft carriers. It's a sensible thing to do and I wish it hadn't taken them two years because the Prime Minister has wasted British talent, British money, British prestige on a vanity project or a redesign that wasn't necessary. So I'm going to keep pressing the Secretary of State and the Government. Just how much did this entire debacle cost? Uh, what were the risks? What was the advice that was given? Because they're now saying as a Government the reason why they've changed back to Labour's plans is it circumstances that changed when they clearly have not. Government were warned, I know the advice they were given, government were warned about the cost and the risks involved in their, the policy that they've now abandoned, but they ploughed on regardless. So this story, I think, will run and run. It's symbolic of a government defence policy, which I think, to call it an omni-shambles, would be a compliment of the government's current defence policy. That's all for just now. Get in touch by Facebook and Twitter, um, write to me here, in the House of Commons, get in touch with any of the shadow defence team and consider writing your own blog um, and get in touch with anything you think we should cover or get involved in the campaign since and Labour Friends of the Forces. That's all for just now. Cheerio.